Yo, what is happening? What's going on? How's everybody doing? Oh man, dude, did you guys see that Godzilla vs. King Kong trailer? Dude, it was insane. I'm so stoked. I'm so excited. Um, man, I'm 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 a big Godzilla fan, and um, yeah, I know I'm just really excited about it. Uh, coming out in March, so we're almost there. We got a, you know about two more months until it comes out. So uh, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. If, especially if you're a Godzilla King Kong fan, dude, it looks insane. I'm really excited. Uh, also, dude, five days until Denzel Washington, the little things. I'm oh, that's one. Of, Denzel Washington's my favorite actor. Uh, at least he's one of them. I, I'd put him right there, in my top three. Love Denzel Washington, and uh, really, really, really excited for that movie to coming up. But anyway, what's happening? How's everybody doing? How's your Sunday going? And I know games are starting up, I believe. Yep, and uh, so it's gonna be good. It's gonna be real interesting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Bucks, and we'll go Bills. We'll make it interesting. We'll go with the underdogs. Why not? Even though it's probably gonna be the Packers and the Chiefs, but we'll have some fun with it. Anyway, um, hope everybody's doing really well. Enjoying your Sunday. My name's Cecil. I'm doing my thing, and I hope you are too. So let's get right into it because some big news today, and I want to talk about Deshaun Watson. I think it's, I've taken some time now to really think about this, and I didn't want to make a video right away because I wanted to kind of relax and, you know, kind of think about it, you know what I'm saying, before I got into, you know, sort of things, because, I mean, at first I was really hyped up about it, and then I thought about it for a little bit, and, uh, you know, I just wanted to kind of, you know, you know get, get what everyone else is thinking out, out there and kind of discuss it, but um, let's get into this article that just came out. As we see, ooh, save five up up to five hundred dollars on. I don't. This is ain't no advertisement. Best Buy, come on. But anyway, Deshaun Watson trade rumors. I guess the head coaching position won't matter to Deshaun Watson and his mind. He says he wants out. According to Adam Scheffner, the relationship beyond repair. That is interesting, right? And this leads up to as you they give him a, they show up the you know some weird photo. Anyway, um, to me it's like, okay. The Jets, let's think about it from a rational standpoint and what they would have to give up. You have to give up three first rounders. You're giving up the number two overall pick, the 23 overall pick, a next next year first rounder probably. And that's a lot. It's a lot to give up. And also, as a Jets fan, a loyal fan, I want to do it the right way. You know what I'm saying? Like, And I understand, like, this is no discredit to Deshaun Watson in the dude he is on and off the field, because I've heard uh, he's you know nothing but great things with him off the field, helping his community and everything. Like so, this is nothing against Deshaun Watson personally. All right, I think he's a great guy and big fan, but I don't want him to come to New York for the price it's going to cost us. And and because I personally want to draft the quarterback and develop a quarterback. Right, I want to personally want you know the 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 investment. The whole like come up sort of thing to me is more, I don't know. It's just, I, I feel better about it than just going and saying, let's trade for this franchise quarterback who, you know, yes, he's going to be a great quarterback for the next 10 plus years. At least that's what you hope, barring major injuries and things like that. But I, I just take a lot of pride to, you know what I mean, to get a quarterback, develop them and actually be our guy for the, you know, the entirety of his career. To me, that's really important and I, that's what I want, okay? Now, I know a lot of Just fans, you know, and, and I've thought about this to myself. It's like, dude, if we get Deshaun Watson, we have cap space, we can sign a couple guys, we can compete next year. That's crazy, but slow down. I think long-term, we can get a corner, we can get an edge rusher with those picks that we're trading away. We can get multiple help, another receiver. We're trading away, all, we'd have to trade so many picks that... Yes, we could, you know, get free agents in the short term, but long term, we're not going to be able to actually have the talent, I think, if, you know, you do that sort of thing. So that's kind of my opinion on it. I, I love Deshaun. I'm not going to say enough nice things about him, but I think we need to hold off on that. And another reason why, you're trading the number two overall pick. Zach Wilson is there, who I'm very, very high on, and he's not just a one-year wonder. He's not. Go back, watch his 2019 tape. I've seen every game available on 19 and 2020. I've, I've, I think I've seen every throw that he's made that is possible out there, at least in 2020. And even in 2019, he, I'll put some throws up because I, you know, I want to, the one throw he made uh, versus Tennessee at the end of the game was crazy. Okay. In crunch time, beautiful throw. 
and he also made a nice throw there in overtime to win the game. Well, he ended, they ended up winning the game in that one. Um, but he also made an unbelievable throw in the USC game. Made multiple throws in the USC game. Honestly, one of his best throws was in 2019 versus USC. He goes back, and again, I'll put him up, and he goes back and then gets out of the pressure that comes smack dab in the middle and makes this crazy throw. And these are throws that guys just, you know, you don't find out of many guys in the NFL. He can make those throws. He has all the potential, all the potential to be a Deshaun Watson, to be a Patrick Mahomes. Let's go and get a guy, develop him. He's, you know, obviously going to be on a rookie deal. We can build around him with those draft picks. Robert Salah, Mike LaFleur can develop this guy. I, that's what I want. That's what I personally want as a Jets fan. I hope that's what they do because I'm just I'm, I'm scared they're never going to give up the next you know three draft picks to get Deshaun Watson. I hope he goes to Miami. I think that's a better fit or San Francisco. Um, so that's my view on it. We can discuss the Matthew Stafford thing too. Obviously, he wants out, and obviously I'm a Matthew Stafford fan, and I wanted him to go to the Jets back in the day, but that's okay. He went number one overall. We got Mark Sanchez and the butt fumble forever going on, but. Um, I hope Matthew Stafford lands on a good team. And, you know, I hey, I think this was a mutual decision. I mean, that's what, according it is, and it wasn't a bad blood decision. I don't think they would have made it, you know, out there and put it out there like this because they lose leverage in the trade. So I think it was just a personal, you know, collaboration decision. And I'm very happy that Matthew Stafford is a quality. He's another one of those guys that I just, I love Matthew Stafford on and off the field. Really Heard nothing but great things about him and what he's done for the community in Detroit and just all around his hometown, um, Houston and whatnot. So I, I hear he wants to go back on. Maybe he'll end up in Houston and yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, I am, I'm hoping for the best for Matthew Stafford. But anyway, that's kind of my view on it. Um, I, I think he'll end up going to either New England or Indianapolis if I had to take an early guess on. I guess he could end up in Chicago too, but we'll have to wait and see. I don't think he'll end up in Chicago because of division thing. I think it's very unlikely. Washington, maybe, but if I had to guess, he's going to end up in Indy or New England just because of the cross thing. You know what I'm saying? NFC to AFC, they want to trade. You know what I mean? So anyway, um, let me know what you think on the Deshaun Watson, Matthew Stafford thing. I, I just, that's kind of my belief as a Jets fan. I just, I want to build, take Zach Wilson, the number two overall pick. He can be a, a franchise quarterback. Let's develop a guy in-house. Let's do it ourselves and have that gratification that I so want to, you know, hey, I'll deal with more pain even if we miss on the pick. I just want that one feeling that we did it. And, you know, that's what I want as a Jets fan. So anyway, I hope you guys have a really good day. Go watch the King Kong Godzilla trailer. It is lit. It's fire. It's lit. Oh, man, I'm going crazy right now. I'm going to have to go watch it again. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. And uh, hope you guys have a really, really good Sunday and everything. My name is Jisling. I'm doing my thing, and I'll talk to you really, really soon.